Hi, this is Emily from Proxlight. Screen recording enables you to create demonstration videos, record gaming achievements, and create videos that can be shared online on social media. Much industrial software exists out there that can help you do that very easily. Though in this tutorial, you will learn how to make your own simple screen recorder in Python that you can further extend to your own needs. Here is the demo of our final application. First of all, run the Py file, and our application will capture current window. If you want to stop the recording, then just hit Q on your keyboard. Here we have the final output video. Let's move towards the logic part. First of all, we will capture a screenshot using PyOtagy. Then we will convert that screenshot to a NumPy array. Finally, we will write that NumPy array to a file with the proper format using a video writer in OpenCV. So without any further delay, let's start coding. First thing first, you need to import the required packages. In this line of code, we will be importing CV2, NumPy as NP, and PyAutoG. Let's initialize the format we're going to use to write our video file. You need to get the correct screen size from your operating system, that is the screen resolution, otherwise writing to the file won't work. Alternatively, you can use PyAutoG size function to get the size of the primary monitor. 4cc is the video codec library that OpenCV would use to write the video file, we specified XVID here. The 20.0 float value passed as the third parameter to CV2, video writer corresponds to the FPS, frame per second. Now we need to keep capturing screenshots and writing to the file in a loop, until the user clicks the Q button, here is the main loop for that. First, we use the screenshot function which returns an image object, so we need to convert it to a proper numpy array. After that, we need to convert that frame into RGB, that's because OpenCV uses BGR by default. As mentioned in PyAutoG's official documentation, you can also record only regions of your screen by passing region keyword argument, which is a 4 integer tuple representing the top, left, width and height of the region to capture. After you are done with recording, just click Q, it will destroy the window and finish writing to the file. Also, you can replace the while true statement with a for loop. Alright, there are endless ideas you can use to extend this. For example, you can combine this with an audio recorder, and you'll come up with a Python tool that records your screen and voice simultaneously. You will need to use a thread that records audio and another for the screen recorder. Let us know your progress in the comments below. I hope this tutorial was really helpful. If it was helpful then consider subscribing, and hit the like button below. I will meet you on another tutorial. Until then, keep coding.